Hey guys, how are you? Well, it's Tuesday night, uh, the 10th, and I thought I'd do a little update here in the house. Can't go outside because it's been raining like for hmm, two or three days now. It's rain, 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 rain. So it's going to be doing that through tomorrow. I think there's like a 100% chance of rain tonight, a 70% chance tomorrow, and then like always, it's going to turn brutally cold. It's going to be like 19 or 20 degrees like the next two nights. So can't get much done outside right now. That's what sucks about Alabama winters. We either have warm and rainy or cold and clear. So take your pick, I guess. But uh, just thought I would update you guys and show you a few things I've been working on um, since I've been in the house. Show you the kitchen here. One thing I did is got some new burner bibs for the stove and these things are not cheap they're about four dollars each for these small ones and then this one is about five for the large one and this is an old uh, whirlpool stove don't know the model number on it but it's about 20 years old we had uh, we, well we bought all new appliances except for the refrigerator way back then and this this uh, whirlpool dishwasher crapped out a few years ago so I've been hand washing dishes since then but the stove's still doing it so I went ahead and upgraded the burner bibs on it I had some chrome ones that were just nasty just burned off the chrome was all burned off so did that and then one of the other projects I did was I had to repair one of these drawers here this house has only got two drawers in the kitchen it looks like you could have one there but they never put one in right there they just blanked that off so what happened was is I'll confess I have uh, periods of extreme laziness every once in a while and back when I painted this kitchen uh, I guess that was about 2006 I painted the kitchen green and the cabinets painted them you know them too and put all the hardware on them and all that well, I took these two drawers out and put them on the back porch, and the back porch has got, you know, it's got a roof over it, and I thought, well, they'll be okay out there. But somehow or another, one of them got damaged by water, and the facing of it there, the drawer front uh, on it got, you know, just buckled and that kind of thing. just wasn't even usable anymore, so I had to do some repairs on it, so see if you can guess which one of these I repaired. Give it up. Which one was it? Well, it was that one. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. I was actually going to take this drawer to a carpenter somewhere that does that kind of work and and have it done. But then I thought, well, you know, this is this is so simple. I'll just do it myself. And all these drawers are here's here's the original. These drawers are probably the most simple thing you've ever seen. They're just a piece of plywood that was cut and then fixed onto the front of this uh, box, drawer box. And they, they don't have guides in them to speak of. They only have, the way they're made is they have a roller here and there and there's a roller on the top there so when the drawer is loaded it won't just, it's got like a little, see it's got these rails, it's got one up here also, I don't know if you can see it barely but so it you know keeps the drawer from just flipping up so that's how it works very simple and I would I would wager a guess that since these are just pine and just simple fronts on them that they were probably built on site so this is the original linoleum uh, I don't call that linoleum I guess I do linoleum that's the word I'm looking for on that. Well, uh, countertops here. So this is probably all original, and they are really solid. They're built good. All we've done is paint them and put hardware on them, but I'll show you this one here. Now, when you get looking at this, you can tell I did some work on it. I'll go ahead and pull it out because uh, this end over here is the bad end. This was originally see that see how bad it looks <laughs> as long as I don't pull it out it'll be okay I guess but <laughs> somebody looking at the house but uh, this was originally the front of it this it was like this it was up here 
And I thought about that, and I thought, well, this is gonna, you know, it's not, it's not gonna look right. All I had to do is actually just cut a piece of wood. I got a piece of poplar there. I got that from Lowe's, and cut it to fit the right dimension. I didn't have to actually I looked out. I didn't have to cut it any uh, vertically. I just had to cut the that, that much off of it and center it, and I was good to go. But I thought, well, I'll just put, I'll just swap this thing around. It's just a box, so I took this guide roller off and. Somehow got it put back over here. You can see where it used to be, and then just went ahead and cut this wood up and uh, nailed it. Four nails, sunk them down. You can't really see the nails on it too much, so it'll pass. And then uh, got that done and drilled the holes for the handle. And what happened when I did that is actually this piece is th thicker than this piece. This is a little bit thinner. I think this is probably, uh, I don't know what they call it, a quarter. I don't know if that's a quarter inch, and this was a half inch. I had to guess at it. I'm a real, I'm the world's worst guesser at things. I mean, what I'm saying is, is like when I go shopping for something like this, I kind of guess at which one I think it is. I won't measure stuff. So I didn't measure any of this, actually. I just, I, well, I kind of marked it off, you know, a, a little template and made marks around it and kind of eyeballed this. So. It's all not probably not very precise, but what I ended up doing is I had to go back and get some longer bolts for the handle. But they worked out good, so it's all solid and back together, you know, unless you really look at it. Especially if you take it out, you can't really tell that I've done anything to it. But I'm sure I'll confess it to whoever may ask. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different size, just a shade, but not enough for any same person to worry about and I'm sure not going to same or not next project was in here in the bathroom and what I did down here is I had to put a new piece of quarter round in all the way around the corner of this because the old piece was just rotted out from the water coming down from the shower so I'd already painted all this you know last year and had this all done and that was just butt ugly so I put the new piece of quarter round in and sealed it and everything. And again, I kind of eyeballed this. So if you look at this here, it's got kind of a Beetlejuice-like angle to it. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's okay for me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably come in here thinking, am I drunk or is that actually off like that? But anyway, you know, stuff like that used to bother me, but not anymore. And uh, that's about it. Um, I'll show you something else. I'm not much of a uh, impulsive purchaser of things, but I've been a little under the weather the past few days. I had a cold that lasted about three weeks, and I just barely got over it. And I think it tried to come back on me recently because I've had vertigo and just haven't been feeling good and I finally felt a little bit better today so I decided that I found this thing when I was at Lowe's here and it was marked down from $19 down to $14 so I thought what the hell so I bought myself a spinning disco ball so I'll get that thing going and we'll give it a try out here in a little bit how's that sound Alright guys, well, back at you in a while. See ya.